Hello, y'all. It's 6.11 p.m. So, um, wait a minute. I'm trying to adjust this phone. Well, the, um, I'm mad because earlier when I did the video this morning, it made it falsely look like as if I was, hold up, I'm about to change my MP3 player battery. I just noticed that it, um, that the battery needed to be changed. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> like earlier, I don't get to choose my thumbnail on my, um, on my videos so I don't know how other people are able to do that. But um <clears throat> I was kind of upset because <sighs> like when I have like I explained before that when I have the camera facing to me it, it has a big white square on the camera and to try to capture or map my face and then I really think whatever this new system on my phone is evil. You know, I don't even try to do like the one eye symbolism or none of that, you know, but um see how like if my my phone like you know, if I accidentally tilt my head like this and then it'll make it like as if the thumbnail is like that when I didn't mean to do that, you know. If I'm just moving my head all around talking in my video, so it deliberately captured me rubbing my eye. Well, I guess my eye was itching. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, but on the previous phones, it didn't used to do that at all. You know, so I'm just letting y'all know that I'm not doing that on purpose or nothing. But when I have the the phone turned the other way, I don't think it does that. So it's already below 70 degrees. And I know tomorrow morning is going to be cold. I meant to go to my storage unit. But I'm too sleep deprived, exhausted, and tired. So I'm going to go swim and shower tomorrow and um I'm a, and then after that I'm gonna you know go you know come back here like I I mean you know back downtown like I usually do and I, I'm I mean, I'm glad I got laundry done um, two days ago. I got my laundry done. So, um, yeah, I mean, I have a, a few pairs of pants, but I, they're, they're not really sweatpants. Or pants that'll be like thick and heavy and keep me warm. And I still have these shorts that I had on the other day. I mean, since Monday. Because Monday was hot. Monday was hot. And I think yesterday was warmer. And last night it was kind of hot and stuffy. But it's back to being cold. <clears throat> So I'm still fighting and battling, trying to see about a long-term permanent solution. And as I said, other real targeted individuals or sincere Christians who know the truth and believe it, y'all understand what I'm going through. <clears throat> y'all understand. But 
They have people who know the truth, but just think it's a thrill to, to go along with the lies, even though they know the truth. But then I guess they feel threatened and scared to go along with the truth. So they, they would rather um, think it's cool to go along with the lie and be cruel and gang up on some, and bully some and abuse somebody. If y'all really okay with Candy Grand Prix and losing her life, I mean, who's the hateful one here? <clears throat> so, I mean, I, I, I don't know how many job applications I submitted today, but it felt like 20. It felt like 20. It could have been 15. I know it was more than 10. I promise you it was more than 10. So, um, I need to, I mean, I still don't have a solution yet with the housing. That lady was, t you know, telling me about the trailer, but, you know, so I have to <clears throat> try to find some quiet time and a quiet day right now it's too late but find a quiet time or quiet day to um go down a list for any possible low income availability I mean like for low income housing for something permanent because I, I know this is senseless you know for um for there to be like really no housing f or affordable housing for the poor and disabled and stuff like that and um but they got all they're building up all this property for the rich So I'm trying to fight for whatever I could for <clears throat> to try to get a, a job again, even though I hate it. I hate, as I say, I hate employment because I don't like working underneath other people. And I wish I could have my own, um, you know, make my own living. Make I wish I could get to make my own living. But all, all I know is if I had access to a car, a vehicle, that would open the door to many more possibilities of opportunities. <clears throat> um, it's plenty of more, plenty of opportunities that I could be self-employed, you, you know, other than just Uber, Lyft, Amazon, Flex, Instacart, and all that. <clears throat> DoorDash. <clears throat> so... If I had a vehicle, but with my own, with my disability, I can't ride up and down hills with a bike, and I feel tra as I say, I feel traumatized by ride trying to ride up and down steep hills. I nearly accidentally died from um, and I feel traumatized. Um, trying to ride my bike down a steep hill. So I, I'm scared to do that. You know, try to ride a, a bike up or down a steep hill. <clears throat> but it's like in society, people handpick who to, who to, you know, who to support and who to help and who to like and who to care about. And... Nobody gets success by themselves. No matter how they lie, want to boast and lie and say that they did. Everybody has has help. I mean, everybody who got some kind of, you know. See these guys; they were so quiet next door. 
they were quiet. And then when I start my video, they're talking loud. Like they're trying to compete with the volume and over overpower me with how with the volume and talk louder than me. The, and these rooms are not soundproof. Shut up! And then they have nerve to have a, such a deep ass voice. <clears throat> so, I'm asking in advance, since I know in advance, I don't want to ask at the last minute. So, I'm trying to get help with a few days with the hotel room and since that manager <clears throat> see they're doing this on purpose and then if once I turn off the video they're gonna shut up can y'all hear me Yeah, there was no conversation. It was so quiet before I, before I started the video. Because they're, they're infiltrating on purpose because they know I'm trying to ask for help. So they're trying to stop it. So, um, see, when I start to talk, they talk. When I get quiet, they get quiet. Shut the fuck up. It's 6.23. So, um, see, I didn't mean to do that to have one eye showing. Watch, once I turn the video off, they're going to shut up. So, um, so even if there is housing available or jobs available, due to me being considered targeted and on the terrorist watch list, I would still be denied housing or denied a job or nobody would want to give me a job or give me housing because since, since I'm wrongfully on the terrorist watch list being a targeted individual and suffering gang stalking they'll, they'll make it either impossible or very very hard as I said I've been, actually I've been was supposed to have had housing by August 2019 but that got Sabotage and ruined. And the gang stalkers, they want the victim to be forced low income. I don't understand it. I guess if they keep you low income, you got to be forced to be dependent and needy. And which makes way for them to, to feel like they got more control over you. Because if I had more money without selling out, I could have more freedom. More freedom and they and they could control me less. Mm -hmm. 
there will be less control that they can have over me. <clears throat> I see. I think they left. Finally. So there will be like less, less control that they have over me. If I was making it on my own. Which I'm tr trying to do. It's frustrating and scary, you know, that, and nobody cares and everybody's ignoring me. And you would rather give a hundred thousand dollars GoFundMe to an able bodied 20 year old male. If he says, if an able bodied 20 year old male says that he's homeless and need a you know, put up a GoFundMe for housing, he'll get help overnight. Hell, they'll donate him $300,000 300, overnight. And I was just trying to ask for like 10000 you know, for the fundraiser or whatever to try to get, but being targeted, they stop you. They, I mean, they stop you from getting help to seek independence. And if I had a roof over my head, I could cook healthier food, store healthier food, and eat healthier food. And I probably would have been less obese by now. And I haven't gotten around to it. I started on it, but I'm planning to write a blog post talking about how um, homeless, different ways how homelessness is more expensive than housing. So, um, <clears throat> and I do not spend $50 a day on food. Like the online perps are trying to make up lies and say that I spend $50 a day on food like falsely try to say candy eats breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks every day. I only ate twice today and yesterday. And y'all still not satisfied. I mean, they even admit that they're upset that I'm not starving. It's like they want me to miss meals and starve. So I worked on a blog post earlier today about police brutality and the Masonic Fraternal Order of Police. All I did was research and compile a list of some um, police brutality videos and videos of um, proof and evidence of police officers being connected with Freemasonry, which is satanic and Luciferian and witchcraft, and which is all about control and abuse. I mean, if, if I'm college educated with a bachelor's degree, you know, and blacklisted from employment, and as I said, I thought that I had been singled out and treated like this because of being quote unquote seen by society as quote unquote retarded or because I'm black, female and disabled, or I guess I'm targeted because I'm black, female and disabled. And I knew nothing about eugenics back then. And I'm seen by society as undesirable. But you value, y'all will value an animal life over my life, over a human life. But that's crazy that they falsely, they don't want me to get any help, and they're falsely accusing me of scamming and getting over on people or being lazy and ungrateful and wanting a lavish lifestyle. And 
they're mad at me for rejecting their offers to sell out. And they're trying to sex traffic me and offer me to and try to bully me, trying to beat me into submission to try to force me to sell out. And they haven't been successful. <clears throat> and on top of that, they're trying very hard to drive me to suicide. They are destroying my mental health. But I'm trying to fight to stay strong against, you know, offing myself or committing suicide. And they straight up would tell me that they want me to go kill myself or they would um, make threats to kill me. Or they would, you know, just belittle and tear me down and um, pick the harshest words that they could find about me. And I'm not even, I know I'm not the worst person in the world. They have far more people who've done wrong and done bad things. <clears throat> you know, as I said, it, if I'm a criminal, then lock me up. Why am I not in jail or prison? But y'all hate me and mad at me and want me locked up in a mental institution, which is satanic. And it's like a torture hell. <clears throat> You know, being abused in a mental institution, that's like being in hell. It's horror. And y'all don't follow the love thy neighbor or do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Y'all love to throw that in my face, but y'all don't follow it yourselves. So, um, it's 6.32 p.m., I got to, um, in 13 more minutes, it's 6.45, I got to definitely be out of here. So, um, I was just, you know, saying that since I don't have, um, since I don't have a permanent solution or a final solution with jobs or housing, and they're suppressing me making a living from writing. Um, what other choice? I mean, that lady, I mean, I don't have a definite answer on that trailer. And I don't know about any other. I, I mean, I need to make some phone calls and go down the line and make some phone calls about any possible housing and the perps, they have sabotaged that. If I try to get a new place to live and then the, the, the perps, they, they, you know, they come after me in some kind of way, get the place, get chosen to get the place before I do. And then I, you, you know, so, um, so what other alternative do I have? I mean, to ask for help with the hotel room. Can't go to that $40 hotel no more. So asking for help with the hotel room for a few nights. Luckily, it's not summer anymore. So it's not summer anymore. So um, the rates are cheaper. The other motel that I was in earlier this year, I don't feel comfortable with going back there since that the motel manager's assistant I think he's on drugs. He threatened he threatened to shoot me and the manager didn't care to do any, do anything about it. So I don't feel comfortable going back over there again. And that and that guy who threatened to shoot me, he was a perp. So I I don't feel comfortable with going to any of those properties again. So I have to, and then I'm wrongfully banned from and can't go to Super Six for the rest of my life. Super Six Motel. So, as I said, I'm trying to get the cheapest hotel where it's safe and I'm welcome and not banned. So, um,
trying to find the cheapest hotels where it's safe and where I'm not banned. <clears throat> so it should be under a hundred dollars a night. But wow, I mean, and then people gave me a hard time with trying to rent a room. I, I tried that too, and this month, I couldn't find anybody, really, you know. So, but I know the online perps are not shy about how they want me to be punished with suffering out in the cold. So, um, I got to get going for now. It's 6.36 p.m. And then I'm going to flip the camera over and do the gang stalking perp walk, which will be the last little one today. And then afterwards, you know, if I got more gang stalking activity, you're likely going to see it. So, I have... All my information in the description box on ways to support me. And thank you. I love you. And bye.